Championi, championi, we will we. Bolton Wanderers nil, the most complete and the best performance, uh, I think, for a long time away from home. I think we've had a lot of tension in the recent games away, uh, but today against a very, very poor Bolton team, uh, Wolves came out and just dominated and showed that they are the best team to have played in the Championship this season and possibly for the last two or three seasons. I can't think of anybody in particular who has blown away the division in the way that Wolves have this year. Um, you know, you look at Newcastle last year, they only won the title on the last game of the season, having with Brighton blowing it. Uh, and really, you can go back to Reading back in 2006 when they really tore the league apart. And I think that's probably the most comparable team to Wolves. But the way that we've gone about it and the class that we've shown all throughout the season was personified in today's performance. And just the the fact that Connor Cody was given the opportunity to take that penalty is probably my highlight of the season. I think it just emphasised the team ethic and the team is bigger than the individuals. Afobi had won the penalty. It was quite a soft penalty, I think. But he had the opportunity to score a goal. And as a goal scorer, that's his thing. But to pass the ball to Cody, who and everybody in the stand uh, was delighted to, to see that go in uh, Magnificent moment for the team, really, really great and quite a, uh, a touching moment to see a team so tightly knit. So the game itself, uh, Wolves completely dominating again. First goal coming through a sh soft shot that was uh, parried away weakly by the Bolton goalkeeper and then Douglas following it up for his fifth goal of the season. What a magnificent season he has had now. 14 assists and five goals for a left back. For, it was only signed for a million pounds, very unheard of, you know, untried at this level. You know, he's been a fantastic signing and arguably the sign of the season. Uh, the second goal then was a tremendous goal, a uh, really, really good goal. Connor Cody playing the ball out from the back, long ball, brought down beautifully by a phobie, and then he finished with consummate ease um, to make it 2 0 before half time. Um, and then the second half, Jota's goal, I thought, was really, really well taken. Uh, bundled in in the end, but the movement before at hand was tremendous. And then the fourth goal, as I've already spoken about, Connor Cody's great goal there. But I worry for Bolton. I, I didn't see anything in their performance today that showed me that they could get out of any trouble. Um, with They've still got to play Burton, who seem to be in an amazing run of form and have relegated Sunderland today, which, again, is a massive, massive story for a huge club like that to be playing in League One is... Well, I don't care. So it's great to have the title wrapped up with still two games to play, uh, but there's still t things to play for. We still want to get to 100 points, which we could reach if we beat Sheffield Wednesday. And then we could beat the club's points record, which I mentioned yesterday. If we were to win the last game then and get be on 104 points, that would surpass the 103 points we got in League One. But again, it was just great to see the professionalism and the class of the team today. And the fans. I think we made Greater Manchester Police or whichever police force are up there look daft because there was there must have been 100 police officers or more than that standing in between the Wolves fans and the uh, the pitch at the end. But there was no intention from any fans to go on the pitch at all. And, you know, we have travelled up and down the country all season and appreciated how good this football is. And we didn't want to spoil that um, it did make me laugh the uh, Wolves fans who were in a box to the right of the Wolves fans um, and they attracted the attention of some children uh, in the lower tier there of the Bolton section they all ran yapping at, uh, at them. Two games left of this magnificent season uh, my favourite season ever of following the Wolves uh, hopefully we can see it off with two wins now against Sheffield Wednesday. We've got nothing to play for. Sunderland, who also won't have anything to play for as they have been relegated. 104 points would be an unbelievable way to finish the season. We're on 98 now, which, and if you think about how tough this division has been, you think Fulham have been unbeaten for almost half of the season now. Wolves have just been the best. And I, you could argue, and they, 
I haven't looked in detail at it, but you could argue that Wolves are in their best vein of form now since that Villa game. We've dropped two points against Hull um, at just the right time. We really we needed to bounce back from that, and we've smashed back from that. Let me know your thoughts from today's game in the comments down below. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel for more Wolves content over the summer. They're going to be very, very busy with regular transfer news and videos and stuff. Uh, so I'll see you next week for the preview against Sheffield Wednesday. Goodbye.